Radio. It's time once again for your daily news update with Dennis Daly. Now, here's Dennis with today's report. Hi, and thanks again, everybody. Remember when we had reported just how cold it had gotten in parts of the Orient, snow causing major problems in China and North and South Korea? Well, you wouldn't think cold weather would be a problem on the Indian subcontinent, but it's starting to be a big one. International weather watchers say it's been unseasonably cold, particularly in northern India. Two dozen people died in one section. The problem is that most Indian homes don't have any kind of central heating. Assist News says that some of the lower temperatures have gone down to 25 degrees, and there is more cold weather on the way. What do you think of when I mention Nottingham, England, or Nottingham, if you will? Well, you might think of Robin Hood. Religious leaders in the U.K. hope someday Nottingham will be known for something else, the city where a brand new way of funding churches started. A pastor there who's a shrewd businessman has begun to sell bonds redeemable at 5% interest. The incoming money will be used as seed money for church construction. You have to contribute about 800000 in U.S. dollars to buy those bonds. The response, though, has been very good. A new report from the Center for Artistic Recognition shows the sound quality was so good on some of the old reel-to-reel tapes that young people today think much of the music of the 60s was recorded more recently. As an example, one high school student who was canvassed thought The Doors was a relatively new group. When informed the song Light My Fire dated from the 60s and that Jim Morrison had been dead nearly 40 years, his reply was, but the music sounds so clean. Digital may have taken over, but when well-preserved, some of the old recordings still sound great. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.